I actually wanted to do What's up? It's Ass It's Home. Thanks for chilling with me. In this video, we're going to go over how I did There was also a, a question. How did I get so many tracks? Because on Ableton Live Lite, uh, you can only get eight tracks. So we're going to go over the eight track limitation and how I work around that. Hopefully this video helps you out. So in this song, like I did a lot of flutes. I had the Spanish vibes, you know what I'm saying? Flutes and like different types of percussion elements like the shaker. You just gotta find these elements that make that genre of music and put it in your beat. main loop that I got for it is basically uh, the last part of that flute that you heard that was in the uh, chorus but it's just a it's just in the piano in Ableton light there's only eight tracks that you can work with so to work around that uh, you just Pull out the drum rack pull out the drum rack and you can get a whole bunch of more sounds in here and uh they also have an instrument rack so i ideally you can do the same uh thing with the instrument rack most of my drums all my drums are in the rack except for that shaker that i that you heard previously That's what really what I was looking for, something real simple, like a like real 90s R&B bass. I actually wanted to do it didn't really match. Now these vocals right here, all I did, find the key to the song. Havana, the whole word Havana is not the first beat. Havana, that's the first beat. Right click that and put set to one. Then you will go through the beat because sometimes it, it gets it gets caught off of the uh, warp as the song plays. So what you want to do is like keep doing that uh, as you feel that it fits. Before you do all that, find the key and the tempo and then you put the key and the tempo in the beat and then you would do what I just said about the warping technique. You can actually like make your own solos with a mid side EQ. This is pretty simple. Maybe I should do a video about that. Havana, ooh, na, na. Hey. Half of my heart is in Havana. Ooh, na, na. He took me back. That's how I worked around the 8 track limitation within the Ableton Live Lite doll. The main trick is when you're doing the drums, you put all the drums in the drum rack so you can have more uh, space on the track and more space in the session to put other tracks like midis, audios, and stuff like that. That's how you do the workaround. If this video was helpful, y'all know what to do, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video.